Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the second best of three of today. It's going to be Spiral versus Foggy. We are searching the opponent of Cash, who just beat uh, his opponent, Shadai, impressively 2-0 on TR and TM. Now at my side, the expert for any human matchup, Mr. Yaws. Thanks again for the introduction. Always a pleasure to be here with you, oh. casting with you. Oh. Also, human against Nido, the matchup that we saw yesterday was... <laughs> Our favorite, and of course your favorite. You have been looking forward to the Aquarius game, and we had a great one, yes. a really amazing one. And today we have one of the, our first German invites in this tournament. It's Spiral. He's calling himself right now the German Wonder Boy, 22. <laughs> Nobody knows where this guy is going to today, but I think he can do like some amazing stuff. Yes, he is definitely the black sheep. We haven't seen a lot of him. He played some green cups a few weeks ago and he did quite well i think he reached the finals or even won the finals but green cups are random race or random yeah. hero so it's an entire def uh, uh, different game on the other hand foggy aka sk hard who made one of the biggest uh, bad manner moves in the recent walker 3 Absolutely. history in a jera cup final where the uh, final fight went on and he uh, stopped microing and typed sk hard in the chat so he brings some some different colors to this old game, and it's Absolutely. very very entertaining uh, to watch him play. We can take a look into this grid now. You see it here: Cash one two zero against uh, Shadai today, and the winner of Foggy versus Spiral will meet Cash later today. We have you versus Helsing and uh, Sonic versus Hate, Love, Anger. So three Germans still in the qualifier, and yeah, uh, <laughs> this is also kind of a clash of the communities, I think. Spiral, well-beloved by readmore.de, shout out. And uh, Foggy, of course, very active and, and very well known on goodgame.ru. Um, so yeah, if uh, we, we will see if the Germans are celebrating or the Russians after this one. We are starting this game uh, right now, and it is Ancient Isles. It is Ancient Isles. We've seen the vetoes right now. Foggy is vetoing Turtle Rock, which is like, we saw it yesterday, we had Rudin against Hawk on Turtle Rock and it was close spawn. And close spawns are kind of dangerous for the Night of players. And you don't want to take the risk to have a close spawn again and then maybe lose to some like fancy gimmick strategies. So for that reason he's vetoing Turtle Rock. On the other side for Spiral, he dislikes Twisted Meadows just as Hawk. I don't know why, some people just dislike it. Me, myself also counts to the people that dislike this map especially against Night Elf. So for that reason, I can definitely feel him and I know where this is coming from. We will see the first map that we are just jumped into in is the Ancient Isle map. And after that, we will have Last Refuge. And if there is a deciding third game, it will be Echo Isles. Echo Isles again in Human versus Night Elf. Yeah. Promising, very, very promising. Okay, let's introduce the players in the top left of Ancient Isles. We have Tobias Braun from Germany, 22 years old, playing Human or Random. He's very good with all the races. And of course, we don't have any results from the recent events, but a few years ago he was one of the best Germans around. He won the Fit for Gaming Bundesliga number one and number two, and uh, the first Fit for Gaming Champions League as well. And he beat in the grand final of the Champions League, he beat Focus, the Korean org legend. So Spiral definitely very, very talented. It is the big question how much he practiced for this tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any numbers on that? Maybe like insights about Foggy as well? Yeah, for Foggy as well. He is spawning on the bottom right and he is playing the Warden, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Andy Korean, uh, 22 years old from the Ukraine, Night Elf player, of course. His favorite map is a Twisted Meadows and he reached the Zodiac Dream League semi final, so one of the top four gamers in Europe. And he won Jera Cup 9, 10, and 20. So three uh, Jera Cup wins is definitely very, very impressive. His matchup versus Human is quite okay, I'd say. F uh, four 45% wins and he likes the game short or long. A anything that happens between minute 10 or minute 15 is crucial for the Nido. Yeah, in general, this is the moment when Nido might be the weakest, especially against human when they expand. But right now, let's just talk about the game that we see right here. We see a little adjustment from the normal kind of creeping pattern you would use in this map. And we see that Spyro is bringing malicious as well. And he's aware that the Warden is creeping on the right side of the map and he's bringing the malicious to the left side of the map. So this will be definitely a tower rush. The Ancient of War is dropping fairly low at the creep spot here. He's 
repaired by three wisp, which should be fine again, but the warden got nice experience so far. A talisman of evasion, which is definitely not the best item for her. But right now there's a lot of pressure on Foggy. He's being Taurus in his main base. We can see that he's constructing another Ancient of War there to protect it from the towers and to get an, a higher amount of archers to counter the tower rush. Yeah, but you can look at it. He's going for the Archmage. I think this yes. is a great way to deal with this. Definitely. He's scaring the Archmage away, so there's no water elemental support for the tower rush. And yeah, he has to heal up. I don't think he has a shop uh, just yet. He doesn't even have a lumber mill. He's a little late with that. But Spiral definitely prepared. Maybe he thinks, okay, in big fights, uh, Foggy is very well prepared for this. He's in shape. So maybe in big fights, I can't win. But if I pull uh, uh, stuff like that, out of my pocket with this uh, surprising tower rushes, then I have a chance. And Foggy uh, not in the best shape that he had like one month ago. And here we are th with the two towers being constructed right now. Well, the first tower goes down to two archers and the Warden. I think this is a, a big mistake because you really need the Arcane Tower against the Warden especially. You can see the Ancient of Wars are being constructed and he's like dealing with it fairly well, I have to say. He's doing all the right steps. He's getting the Ancient of Wars in place. He's getting more archers, focusing down the first towers. We have one Arcane uh, Garth Tower that is quite close to being finished. I think he has to go for that anytime soon, but he needs to replenish the mana as well on that hero. And right now he might be going for the Archmage. No, he blocks off the only way that he could have gotten to the Archmage with the spawn of the Water Elemental. He's being blocked they are even surrounded almost, but I think the archers are enough and there are even more archers coming to this and you can see how he is able to cancel the towers. Yeah, the first one is up. He needs repair though. The archers are doing a pretty good job uh, getting damage to the tower. The first engine of war here attacking the water elemental warden quite low. The moon wells, well, they are all empty. No regeneration anymore for the warden and he, uh, yeah, spiral is supply stuck. Maybe he forgot uh, the farm, but yeah, he needs to focus on the towers right now. Second Guard tower is up. He needs repair. ASAP. Whoa, the the Look at the oh, Archmage. The Engine of War might kill the, the Archmage. Oh, no. He saves it in the last uh, second, but the tower is down. Warden level 2 now. And that means, of course, Blink or Fan of Knives. Yeah, most likely Blink. I think he will go for the Archmage kill as soon as he appears again and close to the base. And he just sh shoots at the Ancient of War. I think he should be able to kill that one. New militias arriving at the main base of Foggy here. And I think he's able to fend this off. I think so too. Well, the one uh, guard tower definitely not enough. He tries to get that second one up, but it's getting harder and harder and harder by the minute. He can still produce the archers here in the Ancient of War in the upper right, and at the same time, two Ancient of War are protecting the base, tearing down the towers, and the Warden is getting experience point after experience point. And of course, we all know against footmen, against militia, the Warden is so super dangerous. The Archmage in trouble here. The Warden, thankfully, out of mana for Spiral here. But if yeah, but oh he's still no going block. for it. I think he should not be able to like replenish the mana soon enough to kill him off with a Shadow Strike. But I think Spyro has to retreat. He's not able to put this one off. He's pulling out the tricks, going for a tower. So this is really special. We have seen Foggy doing like this stuff against human. He's pulling out the tower rushes with a lot of Huntresses recently. But uh, this is a totally different story. Pulling out crazy stuff against the guy that is supposed to do all the crazy strategies. <laughs> this is new. This is pretty well new to us. Okay, three damaged uh, footmen saved by Spiral, so his micro seems to be good, but now the Warden might finish them all and gain level three here. Still no mana for his Shadow Strike, but the first one is down. Lots of misses here, thanks to the Talisman of Evasion. Now Shadow Strike, and the Warden is waiting for the mana, and then wreaking havoc here in the uh, main base. Archmage still level one, getting boots now. SK Hot uh, or Foggy building the Huntress Hall now, not tacking. Maybe he counters with a tower rush of his own. Yeah, maybe. I think it can be really, really powerful here. Oh, the Warden is stuck. And the Warden is kind of trapped right now. The person is moving in the way and you can see the Archmate appears and he got himself a nice dust of appearance and he's able to dust it off so that the Warden has to force or is forced to use the TP there. That tells us, of course, no blink, but fan of knives. I think it's the best decision. There's so many damaged uh, footmen and, and, and the peasants are so low HP that l level 2 fan of knives is definitely the better uh, spell in this one. Now Foggy back to full HP. Not full mana though. Only 100 mana points. That's uh, almost two shadow strikes here. So, m oh, expansion by Foggy. 
in yeah. the upper right. And this is like a situation, this is like really bad for the human player right now, because you forced him to do a lot of Ancient of Wars, and Ancient of Wars are just great to take like any creep spot you want, and you don't take any damage on your units or heroes, so for that reason, bringing these Ancient of Wars is crucial for him. But the Warden also hits level 3 right now, and Spiral North, the only chance to win this game in the end is to Tower Rush again, and fourth the Night Elf to like just go into it and die to it, but this will not work most likely if this is Fan of Knives level 2 on the Warden, which it kind of should be, but he's looking for the Archmage, and this kind of tells us that it should be level 2 Shadow Strike, which I wouldn't like too much. He's not using any spell right now. The militias are fighting against the archers, killing two of the uh, two of the remaining archers, but there are Huntresses already on the field. Yeah, looking quite uh, good for Foggy here, but he lost a few archers. Now we see Blink. This is strange. Shadow Strike again. Oh, this Archmage. There's no Town Portal. No Invu Potion. Nothing. The dot is ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. Is it enough? There's healing, but it's not enough. Spiral losing his first hero on level two, losing another peasant here. This is almost GG. Level three and three quarter warden. This is not looking good at all for the German human player. How is he? supposed to come back from that loss. I have absolutely no idea and he got no Arcan Tower in his main base which is really bad. So the Warden has free reign of the main base, Archmage is still being revived and we see attack coming out here for Spiral. I don't think that Foggy will give him the time to make any use of tech units here. And also the expansion that you mentioned earlier is finally ready and should be in place any second. Yeah, he crept uh, the spot right from the beginning, so that shouldn't be a problem for the Tree of Life to kill the creeps and then uh, get in place and get that entangled gold mine up. <laughs> One hundred percent the Warden trying to tear down the altar of kings, but that shouldn't be enough. But the Warden, man, doing good damage. He needs to repair it. Now level four, man. Level four on the Warden. <sighs> SK Hawk. And he's actually just typing his name. This yeah. is like nail, of the, nail in the coffin. This is like the mule hammer from StarCraft. He's just telling him, get out of the game. This one is over. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. It's his trademark. Uh, typing something when he thinks that the game is over. Mass Huntress uh, from uh, Foggy and this screams for a 1-0. But here's the Archmage uh, back in the game. Maybe with Water Elements, but he's only level 2. Only level 1 Water Elementals here. The tech is not finished, but he's producing Riflemen now. Very effective, of course, against Huntress if you position them well. But the next Shadow Strike to the Archmage hits him so hard. And in the meantime, the expansion is getting up. All the cards in the hands of Foggy again. And the next, two sh yeah, next Shadow Strike hits him hard. He hits him with it. Uh, glaive. Yeah, and you can see how well these uh, Huntresses work together with the Warden, especially against footmen and militias. This is a great unit to have around. And you can see how well Foggy played this game. He uses Blink again to get out of there, to not take too much damage on the Warden, so that he is forced to go back. He w wants to finish it right here, right there, at the main base of Spyro. The Archmage is so low, he cannot even step out of there, because as soon as he goes out and the Warden sees him, there will be a Shadow Strike anytime soon, as soon as the mana replenishes and the main base of Foggy looks stronger than ever. You can see he's queuing up more Huntresses. The expansion is in place, not constructing Wisp there, but he should have enough Wisp because he's sitting on 1.2k yeah. wood right now. So this game screams GG all over again, but Spiral stays in the game. I like this. He tries to do everything he can, but in the end it was not enough. And he says GG, and this is the end of the first map here. Yes, Spiral fighting like a lion, but in the end it's not enough. Foggy, the Ukrainian night elf force, just too strong in the end. It was just genocide in his base. He couldn't do anything against it, but uh, I think that Tower Rush tactic on Tier 1 tells us that Spiral is not very confident in his late game abilities. I'm not sure if you start off a series like that, like with these ballsy strategies that you go in and you say, okay, you know what? You go for the greedy camp, I will just tower rush you. Like, look at me. Okay. I, I just go for it. It's so ballsy and it's so like, if you win this first game with a tower rush, let's be the Knight of player. Will he creep ever greedy again? I don't think so. Yeah. I think this is setting the tone of the whole series. And we've seen yesterday and we spoke about it, like a lot of players were like, thinking about the first series, especially about the first map, and they all played kind of calm and mm -hmm. sat back and nobody wants to take risk. But this is a total different story. We told you, Foggy is crazy. We're going to do a small commercial, uh, a, a small break once again. And then we have a map number two that is going to be Last Refuge. See you soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in the second best of three of the day. Foggy versus Spiral, 1-0 for the Ukrainian player. We are now on Last Refuge. The game is about to start. Spiral with a back against the wall. And one more Night Elf player, one map away from being in the final of the series. This could be another Night Elf that goes to the Gamescom. We already have two of them, and this could be the third one. If he is able to deal with cash that well. Definitely. But we have to figure out the opponent first, and I think Spiral is starting this series quite interestingly. Going for a tower rush on the first map, in this fashion I would like to see the second map going in action again. Do you think on Last Refuge it's possible to do, to do that fancy stuff like on AI? Uh, we have seen the mercenary camps like Creep Spot, where you plant the Ancient of War in front of the mercenary, yeah. and you cannot really go there, because there are two trappers, and the trappers will ensnare all your militias, and then you're basically screwed. But I think he is not going for that anymore. He just wanted to set the tone of the series, and I think he has proven to himself that he can pull off a tower rush. It was not successful in the end, because he was doing like a few mistakes here and there, little mistakes that added up in the end. And yeah, Foggy handled it really, really well. Okay, let's enjoy the beautiful landscape of Last Refuge. We are here in the bottom left. We have a spiral as the yellow human uh, with the usual build order, of course. In the upper right, we have a Foggy, and he is going for a neutral hero. He's going for a neutral hero, but this could be a panda. This could be a beastmaster as well as... This could be a Dark Ranger. Could be Dark Ranger. We've seen crazy stuff from this guy, but to be honest, I think the safest guess on this might be a Beastmaster, because the Beastmaster yeah. is just great against expansion. I've seen him play this successfully against top human players, uh, but usually he tends to go for safer kind of hero choices, like Demon Hunter and stuff. Mm -hmm. But right now, I would really like to see a Beastmaster to mix things up, see different stuff that we saw yesterday. We saw Warden Archmage again, but this could be a neutral hero. We haven't seen this. We have seen the Dark Ranger with Lifesteal again. <laughs> <like, but laughs> yeah. I don't think that we will see this in this series. Spiral with a nice little move here, pulling the creeps towards the engine of war. We saw this yesterday by Nicker versus Cooper, and that uh, ruined the game for Nicker almost. But uh, yeah, let's see how this unfolds. For uh, Spiral, it is of course the Archmage, the old white man on the horse. And yeah, super interesting what Foggy is going to do here. Um, I think Last Refuge, kind of a good map for Night Elf on this one. I think it depends on the time. You mentioned it, like, in between, like, 10 to 15 or 20 minutes, Night of players seem to struggle a lot. On this map, it's a little bit different, because if you go late game against humans, you have a lot of narrow positions. But Foggy is keeping track of the narrow positions and is eating trees yes. with the Ancient of Wars. We have seen it in, in different cups, and he's using the Ancient of Wars so well, I really like to see it. But right now, the first archer of Foggy just died to the creep spot that was being pulled toward the Ancient of War here. And we can see how well this adds up. Maybe a second ensnare on the archer. Yep, he is ensnared, oh. and there's no hero available for him if he's not able to make it to the tavern. This engine of war creep is absolutely horrible for Foggy right now, and it is the Beastmaster. We have seen this from the legends like Sasse in 2007 nowadays. I think Nicker is the almost only one who plays it first. I'm not sure. Exclusively, it used to be used by all the Chinese players, I guess. I think Sixi, the guy who played Shishi, Nido, yeah. Yeah, Shishi, yeah, he is one of the guys that invented this strategy or used it to full potential. And we've seen like crazy amount of summons. We have seen the invisible hawk <laughs> eating all the footmen. And don't we've forget about the bash bear. And don't forget about the ultimate. This guy can like do tons and tons of damage, especially if you go for an expansion. But right now, Spiral is going for the goblin merchant, or not goblin, the mercenary camp as well. This this will be a great thing for him because he will have the priest. We see it here, Shadow Priest coming for him, and this gives him the ability to dispel the Quill Beast from the Beast Monster. That is, of course, super, super important. And this creep spot with malicious support, of course, lots of experience. And the Rope of the Magi, um, plus six for the Archmage. Perfect item, six more intelligence. That is, of course, 90 more mana, and that is almost an entire Wars Elemental. Yeah, and what we else see on the other side of the map, Foggy tends to do like some kind of creeping. He did that. The Ancient of War regenerated, was eating a tree. And we see more Ancient of Wars, yes. or at least one more Ancient of War in the main base being constructed, as well as the Huntress Hall. There's Ultra Vision, vision being researched. And another Moon Will. This tends to be a lot of Huntresses. You called it on map one. Foggy is the guy who loves to do tower rushes versus human. This could be one of them. Uh, I think once the Beastmaster is level uh, two or three, he will start But it. look at the Archmage. He found himself a nice pair of gloves. 
uh, close of attack, and right now he got plus 14 damage, and this is quite some serious damage that he this guy is pulling off here. And we see Boots of Keltalas for the Beastmaster, definitely not the best item. Yeah, he would be very lucky if he played the Demon Hunter now, but uh, the Beastmaster doesn't need that much armor, he's not tanking that well. Another agility point here from uh, the Tome, and yes, yeah, Spiral going for an expansion on tier 1. Yeah, and I like it. He's already level 3, and the Beastmaster is still creeping, and he's not really close to level 3. He's sitting on 2.5 right now. The Shadow Priest on his own side is almost being killed. I think he has to deny the Water Element, otherwise the Beastmaster will be level 3 real soon. No, there's a Surround on the Archmage, and I think he will be stuck there, because you cannot really move behind the Mercenary Camp. As you see it right now, he's stuck, and he cannot make it out of there, but he's in a really nice position. I think he might be able to kill the Archers. They shadow melt and hide away. If he sends one of the militias to the laboratory, this would be just great because then he can reveal. But he's also getting the mercenaries on the other side, I guess, if he stays there any longer. Now the Shadow Priest on his own side is dying to the Huntress, most likely. Yeah, and he dies. And finally, level 3 for the Beastmaster. Let's see what kind of spell he chooses. The level 2 cool boost. Yeah, definitely a good choice here. The Archmage is finally free, escaped from uh, the trap of the Huntress here. But Spiral is doing fairly good, sending it away another footman, but there's one Huntress catching it. So we have a 33 food for a Spiral. The uh, Beastmaster in problems here. The Archmage still looking wow, good. And wow. what a tons of damage to this Beastmaster. He has to town portal out, and that gives Spiral so much time for his Yeah, expansion. and he will be able to get rid of the Engine of War. As you can see it right now, the Engine of War is not unrooted. Uh, is not rooted again and he takes so much damage from the Archmage and this is all due to the fact that he found himself the Rope of the Magi as yeah. well as the Claws of Attack. It's so much damage. Each hit hits so hard. It's crazy. And before the fight I would I uh, thought that this is a super situation for Foggy with Mass Hunters countering the expansion because yeah. he can do so much pressure on that tier 1 uh, human player, but now everything is turned around and he will not be able to contest th this expo. Absolutely, and right now S Spiral finds himself uh, in a really wonderful spot here on the second map, and he got the expansion going for him, he got an Arcane Tower in place at his expansion. He lacks off an Arcane Tower in his main base yet, but I think he will get it as soon as the Quill Beast, yeah, yeah, and it's going the way, and he sees it, and he's right now cancelling all the healing on, on the Footman as well as on the Archmage. Really nice small moves here from Foggy that add up in the end, and he's not going for encounter expansion. This screams like aggro right from the start. He really wants to finish him off as soon as he can, get rid of the expansion, summoning Quill Beast as soon, uh, every time the cooldown is ready, actually. Yeah. Lots of mana on uh, both heroes here. Small fight ensues in the middle of the map. Of course, Spiral wants to keep Foggy as far away from his main and the expansion as uh, possible. But I think Foggy is getting his wisps in place for a counter expansion. I think he knows about the expo um, so far. And Foggy cancelled his plans to go for the main base. Yeah, but he's also not constructing in Tree of Life yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, Foggy uh, is not... I'm not sure if this will pay off, because Spiral is reading the game wrong, I guess. He's expecting the expansion, and for that reason he's going there like all the time, even able to steal the creeps there, but Muddy is also being called here for hot, and he's using it. He's like using one of the slows on the footman. I think he should have used it on the Archmage, and he's even getting the Forest Troll Berserker. He's getting all the mercs nice. from Foggy, and I think I like it a lot, because then you can get your mercs as well, and you have a great army to fend off against the Huntresses. This is what make, uh, made Hawk so strong against Night Elf, stealing the mercenaries over and over and over again. And uh, yeah, Spiral is doing it um, also pretty, pretty good. Always fighting there at the mercenary camp, using the time to steal the mercs. And yeah, Muddy, the Back to Warcraft mascot, is going down, but he did his job throwing out uh, the slows. And we have a level 4 Beastmaster already with uh, Mantle of Intelligence now. That's okay, because he gets more mana from it. The Archmage about to hit level 4 here. We see the expansion is safe up and running in the main base. No tier 2 yet. No, nobody is taking, and you can see that... Spiral is actually preparing for a fight to come. He's getting everything. He's getting all the priests, using all his mercs. He's doing all the right things, I guess. And if he's taking the fight good, and if he's microing and, and also dispelling the Thunderhawk that we see, the level 2 Hawk that is just being killed by the creeps right now. Yeah, against Footman. And against Footman, this guy can do like some serious stuff. 
But there's even defense on the footman. It's really good against the Quilbys. The most damage output comes from them, I guess, as well as the bouncing glaives. But the water elements, you can see so-called water torrents <laughs> dealing <laughs> amazing damage against the Huntresses. It's crazy. You got so much piercing damage against the unarmored units. And, and there's a two more experience. Yeah. He's on a good way to level five right now. This guy is in amazing shape. This game is uh, is running so great for Spiral. Such a huge amount of piercing damage. When three water elementals, two berserkers, that's, that was just killing the hundreds left, right and center. But the Beastmaster is on level four and a half. This could become a factor once he hits level six. He got himself a potion of greater healing, so I don't think that he will die anytime soon. And now Foggy is pulling... Glaive thrower so far, and he's not producing any, but he has a huge amount of hunters still. Yeah, I think he identified the only thing that is hurting him real bad the water torrents. He has to get rid of the water elementals, but of course, due to the fact that he did not tag, he had got no dryads, and he has to bring the wisp to dispel and also to construct the buildings. Right now, he will start building protectors, but I think as soon as he realizes that he's going up against two or three water elementals, he will definitely cancel the buildings and use it for dispel. Spiral is not protecting his base at all. He's going for the aggressive himself. Poggy is not attacking and now he's down in rules. He is supply stuck and this army is just melting through the buildings. How does it look here? The blocking farms are gone and now he's attacking the economy. The towers are up uh, for 50% and now the mass hunters attacking the keep. So, oh, Foggy is the first one to attack Spiral immediately town porting out. Smart move by him, distracting uh, Foggy here, forcing him to get the town port. And in the meantime, his expansion is paying off more and more and more. And Perfect more. move by Spiral, going for the main base of his opponent, trying of at least forcing him back, which gives him even more time. And time is the thing that he needs the most because the longer the game goes, the better it is for him, because right now he's sitting on two gold mines, while the Knight of Player is just sitting on one gold mine. And you can see he's doubling the income of the other player, and this is all he needs. He needs, like, scrolls. I think a healing scroll and a protection scroll would be great, even though the protection scroll will be dispel uh, dispelled by the Wisp. It's also great to have it, because he cannot, most of the time, not dispel it on all the units. So for that reason, I would like to see that. Okay, once again the Hunters are coming to the main base, but there are two guard towers now. Um, and I think this is getting harder and harder for Foggy to pull that off. But there's the Thunderhawk, dealing with the guard towers. Of course, magical damage does a lot to heavy armor. And now with the Beastmaster and the Hunters, he is able to deal with the towers. First one is down, and in the meantime, he is trying to get that towers up as well. But here comes Spiral, he is getting the Night Elf main base again. I'm not sure if this is the right move from Spiral. I think he can fight him off. I think his army is strong enough to fight him off finally. But right now he still is going for the main base. And he can really get rid of one of the bases. Because if he loses his keep, okay, it hurts him a little bit. But he's still got an expansion. So for that reason, as soon as you have two bases, it's definitely dicey for your opponent. Because he has to defend, to defend, and defend his tree. Yep, and of course he has to buy a town portal over town portal. Now Spiral is even able to run away. He doesn't have to use his TP. And that, of course, uh, gives him a 350 gold advantage uh, compared to Foggy. And that's the least thing that the Ukrainian Night Elf wants. And once again, the Shadow Priest stolen by Spiral. This is so great. Now he gets the Town Paul. Almost level 5 Archmage. That Moonwell stays alive. He would be Supply Stock again. Yeah. And look at it, I think he should have TP'd in the main base, so right now he could deal with the Ancient Protectors alone. There's no army to protect them, and as soon as you can realize that, you can get rid of them really easy. But I think maybe Foggy's going for a different game? No, I thought for a moment he might be going for an expansion again, but it's too late. He really has to take the fight now, he has really to win the game somehow now. Because now is the time for him, but the human player looks stronger than ever. It's in a really good shape. There are no Sanctum, which is kind of bad for him. And he got Supply stuck for quite some time. So for that reason, there's no tiered, uh, second hero right now. But he got 555 mana on his Archmage, and he will use it really good to his advantage. Yeah, lots and lots of water elementals coming in. There's only one Shadow Priest for Foggy. He's going for the main base here. The Chim is up, the little one, and of course the Berserker and the Quilby, so he has lots of uh, piercing damage as well. And Spiral, once again, not defending here. He uh, Look at this mass of mercenary. Three Berserkers, two Maulers, three Shadow Priests as well. Or oh, fourth Shadow Priest. Four Shadow Priests as well. He can dispel the Hawk immediately. He can dispel all the Quilbys. 
I'm not sure if he's doing the right calls right now. I think Foggy is playing it a lot better here. You can see how he forces the human player to act. And right now the protectors are all in place. They can hit the gold line, they can hit the main base and also the army. The army is shrinking a little bit, losing units towards the tower, but still he's TPing back to the main base. I think Spyro could even take a fight in the night of the base right now. Against two engines of war, it's pretty, pretty hard, but he has a lot of maulers uh, to block and footies, of course, to save his uh, berserkers. And, he's and now you can again. see he's TPing to the ancient protectors because he knows that the army just recalled to the main base and he's taking good care of them. There will be a Mountain King as well. He's being constructed in the Altar of Kings right now for the human player and he's getting rid of the ancient protectors. And you can see how, s how slow or even though these units are quite fast, the Huntresses, they cannot make it in time and the towers will be gone and we still see enough towers for the human player in his base to protect their tier 2 keep. Yeah, Spyro's doing it very good. This town portal was definitely a good choice. He's protecting his mercenaries, of course, the Maulers far up front. The Hawk is there, Squad of Protection. Where is Dispel? Here is the Dispel. Chimera gone, but the Quill Beast is here on the cliff and he can attack uh, the Shadow Priest far back. And now it's level 5 for the Beastmaster, level 3 for the Quill Beast or even the Chimera. Look at the Water Elemental, they deal so much damage and get three of them. But he's losing, he lost the Orgum Mauler for that. The Beastmaster is level 5, finally. I'm not sure if he's going for level 3 Hawk. I think it would be a mistake. I think he needs there's a level 3 Quill Beast. Yeah, there's too much Dispel and you need more Dispel for the Quill Beast as for the Hawk. And he's doing so much damage. I guess the level 3 Quill Beast is even doing Splash. So for that reason, Spiral finds himself in a wonderful position. The Mountain King should be with the army anytime soon. First Rifleman as well being constructed for him. There are still a lot of... Merc, as you called it, there are three troll berserkers, three shadow priests. We still see Orga Mola for him, a lot of footmen. Yeah, but uh, Foggy is catching up since the Moonwell was constructed at the mercenary camp. He has a very nice mercenary camp control as well with uh, two berserkers, one Mauler, two shadow priests. So he gets uh, this spell as well. Still no tech from Foggy. He's not able to build Dryads with the upgrade. Here we see the next Quill Beast and the next fight. Now in the meantime, this is the Level big three Chimera. Hawk, yeah. The big magic damage and look how he melts through this big Ogre Mauler. Down he goes. There's no dispel yet from the shadow priest. I think he's uh, moving him very, very well. So he, he moves back and forth to uh, avoid the dispel there. And yeah, maybe and he this is dust, a turnaround in dust. this game. Look at this. He lo he's losing so many units right now, Spiral. This is really spiraling out of control, I think. L look at this. Like, a few Huntresses are still remaining, okay? And he's taking good care of all their units. But the micro of the Hawk is so well right now. But right now he's typing his own name because he thinks he already won the game. The Water Elements taking good care of the Night Elf army and I think he's able to pull it off. I think he's able to win the second map here. Yeah, everything is low for Foggy. Two more Huntress in the little Chimera is still alive, but there are three Water Mantles. He, he could focus the Chim now. Ah, okay, now it's invisible. Not anymore. Check the yeah. supply clan. It's 29 supply for the human yeah. player against 26 supply. Both lost everything, man. It's like two boxes changing hits. Extreme. And it's level 6 Beastmaster and he got oh. enough mana, he will use the moon well and most likely go towards stampede. the yeah, go towards the human main base and use Stampede there because we see a lot of Dispel being used onto the level 3 Water Elementals and it takes a lot of Dispel as you can see right now. It takes like at least 3 or 4 Wisp, but the Beastmaster is going back, he's not going for the Stampede into the main base, he wants to fight, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I think he, he should go for something sneaky because there is no TPR, ah, he's level 6, he will have mass teleportation on the Archmage available. Is this level 3 Quill Beast now? Yes, right? Yes, so no he's, he skipped the Stampede. Okay, I he's think focusing it's the good. Archmage now. Ooh, he's in trouble. There's no Town Portal for Spyro. There's an Invo Potion. Swapped him. Used him. Saved the Archmage for now. Is there a block from Foggy? This could turn the entire game around. For, tries to block with the Quill Beast. The Invo Pot is about to run dry. The he's Archmage is going to die. Level 7 Beastmaster right now. All of a sudden, he might be losing this game again because he's taking to tier 3, not producing anything. There are no units for Spiral, as you can see it right now. Mountain King all of a sudden hits level 3, killing Muddy at the other end of the map, retreating from there, but the Beast is level 7, and right now there's no Archmage, and I'm not sure if he's able to get him back at the tavern. He got the amount of gold, but I'm not sure about the wood, and the Beast Master will use Stampede in the main base if this yeah, turns out to be bad for he him. He should have the ultimate right now. Archmage is back, level 6, mass teleport. Before this fight, I was about to say, this game is so crazy, it could end in 2 minutes or 30. And another Mud Golem, you can see it, he's so using slow again on the Archmage, but he's able to reach the shop in time and buy himself a nice potion of healing. 
but he is still in danger of falling. But right now, I think he will retreat. Yeah, Foggy is repositioning, trying to go for the Mountain King right now. We see a potion of mana being used, Clap being used onto the Beastmaster. Stormbolt. He's dropping so low. Is there a Stormbolt? Yeah, there is a Stormbolt right now. Is there anything on the Beastmaster? No, there's not. No Stormbolt being used. What Whoa. the hell is going on here? This level 7 Beastmaster is getting away with 140 hit points, but Spiral wants him. He is going for the chase. He's on his feet. And yeah, of course, the Beastmaster runs uh, to the base as soon as quick as possible. All the moon wells are dry. It is daytime, so there's no uh, rejuvenation for that first hero of Foggy right now. Yeah, and you can see one of the riflemen actually go through the mercenary camp of Foggy and kills a moonwell off that had like <laughs> 20 HP and to be able to get all the merc mercenaries from there. And right now he's just constructing mercenaries. And I think what he wants to do right now is using siege engines. <laughs> Why would you do that? But still, how amazing is that? We haven't seen the tanks yet and there they are. Okay, and Spiral is on tier 3 as you mentioned it. He has a Staff of Sanctuary so that uh, Archmage loss will uh, probably never happen again. The Chimera, is, uh, the, the Spirit Hawk here is scouting um, the army so he knows what's going on. But I don't think he knows about the tanks. He has uh, two workshops at the moment, I guess. Or is there a third one? No, just two. I haven't seen any attack upgrades that you usually want for the tanks. But uh, with that siege engine, Spiral wants to seal the deal right now. Yeah, he should get himself a gyrocopter because the gyrocopter can actually reveal, uh, reveal the hawk and then you can get rid of him like in no time. But for some reason he's not realizing that. I would like to see that. Maybe we can see it later. But he's just producing steam tanks here. Siege engines are going for the base of the Night of Player and I think he wants to punish him for the greediness that he pulled off early on. Going for the single beast master here. No tech, no expansion. Just wants to end the game as soon as he can. And yeah, Spiral is able to take this as a stretched out long game. We saw hero kills left, right and center, level 6 Archmage, level 3 Mountain King and the level 7 Beastmaster and he's going for the Creepjack yet again. Yeah, unholy aura for the human race. Now very mobile army and two water elementals once again on the battlefield. There is Clap, there are lots of misses. The tanks are rolling towards the Night Elf base here in the back. We see it. <coughs> the water elementals deal tremendous damage to the Hunters once again. They just melt. He, uh, everywhere and the creeps are attacking uh, Spiral. Wow, well, so and look, help. look, 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 he saw that the Mon King got not enough mana to bolt the Beastmaster again and right now he wants to get rid of the expansion using Stampede, the ultimate from the Beastmaster. You can see how much damage this does to units and buildings. But right now the Archmage with the help of the Brilliance Aura brings the Mountain King to the field and he bolts him right from the yeah, right from the start. Yeah, the Stampede was not that effective, I guess. He hit a few towers, but no damage was dealt to the expansion. You see it here, 1,800 still left, and in the meantime, the tanks reached uh, the base, but it's still 0-0, zero, zero, and now the Night of Army can deal with it. Yeah, he but speaking more. of effectiveness, you can see how useless these tanks become right now, because the Quilby Stallone, also with, together with the Hawk and, and stuff, is doing really good damage, and they are able to get rid of small amount of tanks, but still, the water elements are so strong, he just needs water elements and triple hero, as it seems, to get rid of the Huntress army. The tier 1 army is dealing with three heroes of the humans, and I think this is just too much again. Yeah, this is still tier 1 for Foggy. I believe the main gold mines are dry. Foggy has no gold income right now. He's only relying... No, he's not relying on anything. This game G -G. is over. Spiral is able to equalize, and who would have thought that? We haven't seen this guy in any Jera Cup, yeah. in any Zodiac Cup whatsoever, and now here he comes, beating Foggy. Insane. And, and what a and what a fashion! Like seriously, yes. what did we just witness here? We saw <laughs> a level seven beastmaster going for stampede, going for level three hawk. We saw the invisible hawk dealing with footmen, water elements, whatsoever. Merc armies appearing on both sides. Crazy game. Absolutely really crazy. crazy. We are doing another small break before we go into the third game. The map is gonna be Echo Isles. We have seen Echo Isles yesterday. Night Elf versus Human. Prepare for greatness.
Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the deciding game of the second best of three of today. It is Foggy versus Spiral. And Spiral, in a very impressive way, was able to get the equalizer. And now we have it once again, Human versus Night Elf on Echo Isles, just like yesterday. Yeah, just like yesterday. And we saw games just like yesterday. We saw a Tower Rush on Map 1 that didn't really pay off in the end. We saw a Beastmaster level 7 <laughs> against an Archmage level 6. Siege tanks on a really small map. <laughs> yeah. Expansion work camps fighting everything. It was crazy. We have seen, witnessed crazy stuff yesterday. Today it continues and I'm looking forward to this one. Let me remind you, this is single elimination. The loser of the next map is out of the pro qualifier. He's not going to Gamescom. He's not able to get $4,000 and he will not go to China via this way. And the next map, as I mentioned before, it's Echo Isles. And we're going in game right now. A small thing about Foggy, he tried to qualify for the WCA 2014 as well. He practiced very hard. He's not like an old school player like Hawk or Cash who's been around for the scene like for ages. He came up last year. Very strong performances, but when he lost the WCA qualifier or wasn't invited, he completely stopped to play the game. He was so frustrated that he didn't achieve his big goal, stopped playing for like six or seven months, and then came back in March after the WCA 2015 announcement. In a very dominant way, he was instantly able to keep up with Hawk, Sonic, Rooted, all the big boys in the European Warcraft scene. And if his dream fails again, this would be a nightmare for this uh, so lovely Ukraine night off. Yeah, definitely. And what you also have to consider or put you put you guys up to, it's like this guy is not only training or practicing like everybody else. Like we have a few players that are really dedicated about that and training a lot for this event because everybody wants to go there. Everybody wants to go there and prove themselves against the Chinese to compete against them and see who is the best in the entire world right now and the, for the remaining scene in Warcraft. But this guy, like, it's putting it to a limit. He's training on Asian servers. He's training whatever he can. He's practicing with the world editor. He's creating, like, bases on the world editor and using everything he possibly can or watching every replay, getting in contact with all the players, like Chinese that barely speak English sometimes. But he makes it possible. He talks to them. He plays with them. And he puts so much effort into this. 
He has a book with creep routes. I think that says everything. And once again, we have a neutral hero here on Echo Isles. Maybe this time a Dark Ranger? Most likely a Beastmaster again. I think it, this is so good. The Beastmaster on small maps when you can get him to level 3 real quick. And if you have a mercenary camp as well, this adds up perfectly. Oh. But we can see the Pandarian Brewmaster you just <laughs> called it. And there you go. Panda and Brewmaster, of course, huge area of effect damage if you can creep him up very, very uh, quickly. And that is definitely possible on Ancient Isles. You have like level three in no time on this one. Yeah. He's getting ready for the mercenary creep. He's getting ready to buy um, the supporters here. Uh, once again, the Shadow Priest, the Berserkers, and they shall help the Panda and Brewmaster reaching level three as soon as possible. We see Breath of Fire, of course, the first spell. Spiral on the other side. He has the Archmage once again. He's here of trust militia support so both players going for the mercenary camp as usual yeah it's like the exact same creep route both of them take the green camp before they go for the mercenary camp and both will end up at the same amount of experience right now and they will both have a shadow priest the one will use it to dispel the water elementals the other one will just use it to heal up against the birth of fire i guess and keep himself alive against this I'm not sure what the perfect strategy choice against the Pandarian is, because we've seen other guys using it, like Sonic, we will see him later in this qualifier. He's also one of the crazy Knight of players that tends to play crazy heroes sometimes, especially against human. But the Pandarian Broodmaster can really hurt you bad here. This is definitely... Another game than Rudin versus Hawk yesterday. We see the Boots of Speed for the Archmage. Great, great item right from the start for the Panda and Brewmaster. We have Boots as well. So uh, the RNG Jesus was balanced again. So the Archmage got himself a dust to get some, uh, to snipe some archers probably. And of course, Spiral is getting ready for the expansion. Once yeah, and again. I like what Spiral is doing there due to the fact that he found himself a nice pair of Boots. He already was faster at the shop, got himself the dust of appearance. And it's right now putting pressure on the Night of player while he's still creeping, not able to steal the creep from the Night of, also looting Waterman and all of a sudden Beastmaster, uh, Pandora and Brewmaster level 3 as well, and there will be Breath of Fire, and I think this expansion that the human player will try to get, yeah, this could get really dicey in a minute. He's going over there and he will use the Breath of Fire to kill everything. Yeah, but Spiral did it great. He blocked the way for the Panda, exchanged a few hits. The Panda is down to, yeah, I think 33% uh, HP. He buys himself a stuff. Of course, Breath of Fire is the perfect spell against towers, against workers, against everything that's needed for an expansion. He gets the Gloves of Haste now. And yeah, Spiral will have problems to get this Expo up. In the same time, the Archmage uh, is pressuring the Nidos, but Foggy is tacking already, tier one and a half, and now he's going for the Archers, Dusty being used. But you can see how strong it is. He's fighting in the back of the moon well using everything. The water elemental was just being dispelled. In one second he used three wisp instantaneously to get rid of it. And now he's taking care of the tower at the expansion also as well as taking care of the Ekin Vault. We see that the human player is not committing to the expansion anymore. He's retreating there, also retreating with all of his unit, killing the forest troll Berdaka of Foggy here. But uh, he's not expanding, he's taking. I'm not sure into what he will take. But the Beastmaster is also taking good care of the priest. He saw that the Shadow Priest is moving down and he's staffed to the Moonwell and right now he's chasing him, killing him off because he got the boots for himself. Level three and three quarters already for the Panda. This guy's getting dangerous, but the Archmage three and one uh, third as well. So, oh, Foggy forgot his Huntress Hall. Wow, but I think he will, ah, he should, yeah, he should have built it all here. Yeah. Like, you can see his tech is almost finished. There will be no loss for quite some time. Maybe if Spyro Lee realized that and he just did wow. that, wow. he will cancel the Andros Hall again and this will delay everything. This no, is he so let's go of it again. But uh, the Archmage, I think, no, he's going for the for the Hunters, I don't, uh, for the for the archers, I don't really get it. Archmage has to be really, really careful. There is another Breath of Fire on level two, but he needs to cancel that Huntress Hall. I don't get it. He's so far behind in tech, Spiral is. And if he cancels that Huntress Hall, this changes everything in this game. But he focuses on the small units, the archers. He wants experience. I don't get it. Berserker is going down. No expansion, of course. The tech of Spiral is delayed, and the Huntress yeah, Hall and is Yeah, look at the Pender and Brewmaster. He was chasing the Forest Troll Berserker, and he was able with the boots to get him. And we also see that there's an expansion pension in place. Yeah. The Tree of Life is being constructed for Foggy right now and the Huntress Hall just finished. We see that the Ancient of Lore is being constructed. Usually you don't see this because the Huntress Hall should have been dead like 
and there should have been a reconstruction, but he was not aiming for it. And for that reason, Foggy is in the perfect shape, finds himself in a wonderful position with an expansion with Dry, it's about to come. And also this tech for the human player is so delayed and I don't see how he will handle the beast, uh, the Pandaren Broodmaster anytime soon. Yeah, he has nothing against it so far. He will reach uh, level uh, tier two uh, very, very soon, but now the economy Harris probably begins. Nope, not yet. I don't think he uses uh, um, the Drunken Haze, but Breath of Fire, uh, uh, the, the Drunken Brawler instead, excuse me. But I think the, the perfect counter here is the Mountain King, right? Yeah, some people try to try like Blood Mage to siphon the mana from the Panda, but usually he is fast enough to move out of the range of the siphon. And again, what will we see for the human? It is the Blood Mage, there you wow. go. He will try to use the Blood Mage to the fullest to get rid of the mana. And we see Spiral is doing it right right now. He's going to the Knight of Base, cancelling the Ancient of Laws. This is really crucial to Foggy, I guess. And he should take better care of this if he's able to deny the Ancient of Laws any further. I think he might could struggle against the water elementals because there will be a blood mage. There will be tons of mana drained from the panda and given to the arc mage as well. But uh, both ancients of lore are uh, down. The arc mage is retreating. Foggy is uh, building a g nice army nevertheless with that two shadow priests. He can still access the mercenary camp and I think that's what he will do in the meantime because he has so much gold very very soon. With that expansion being up I don't think Wow, Spiral surround on the arc mage. Oh, making it open again and he can leave. He's looking for the engine of lore again and maybe he should be able to find him but the shadow priest one of them still got enough mana for one dispel so he is retreating there because he knows he cannot really accomplish anything there. Blood Mage going for some creeping here, but what I think what he should do right now is keep the pressure up and deny or decline the laws. Yeah, I think so too. The one is almost up and then we see Dryads, then we see Dispel and uh, with Muddy the Mud Golem Archmage has to Town Portal to his buddy the Blood Mage we see the Korean Human God Reprisal playing this to the fullest and it is so effective because uh, not Everyone is prepared against this hero. This is almost new meta for, for Warcraft 3, this Blood Mage as a second hero. So let's see how Foggy will deal with it. Yeah, the only thing that can really hurt him right now are the Dryads, actually. The Dryads against Human are so strong, especially if you don't have any Rifler or Mortar teams. And for that reason, he has to hit now. He has to hit hard. And he has to get rid of the Dryads, the first Dryads that come out. There's just one Ancient of Law, so production is pretty low. He cannot really go for any Archers any further, but he still has access to the Mercenary Camp, and he yep. can still get all kinds of Mercenary. The Troll is still available. The Forest Priest, another one, is available. And he could even use the Forest or the Mercenary on the other side. You mentioned it. Foggy is playing the Chinese letter. Oh, the Blood Mage is in deep, deep problems here. He needs to get away as soon as possible. There's no staff, of course, because there's no Tier 3. The Mercenaries are blocking the way and the Blood Mage goes down. Level 5 for the Panda and Brewmaster. He has a Panda wow, and Brewmaster. Breath it. of Fire. Level 3 Breath of Fire just killing off the Militia. Everything is low. There is more mana. How long is the cooldown for Breath of Fire? I think not. It I is ready, it is ready, he's going for it, the block failed, the panda will hit the peasant, oh, two of them dodged actually, well micro there by Spiral, but still not well enough, Foggy is doing so much damage, he's all over the place, and he's doing it so well. But this block of Spiral, look at it, he blocks him all the way, dealing good damage to that panda, but for emergency purposes, there is the staff, there is no Stormbolt, so he's able to escape there. The thing about Foggy, you mentioned it, he plays the Chinese letter and he's very, very good at it. I think he's ranked 9 or something. And the number one of that Chinese TX letter is Reprisal. So they will meet each other very, very often. So Foggy should be used to that... Uh, to that tactics right now. Yeah, and you can see also still got the expansion. Don't forget about that. The expansion is in place for quite some time. He's getting the money from that. And also the second Ancient of Law is finally being constructed. So we see a lot of Dryads coming as well as the tier 3 tech for the Knight of Player. There will be bears anytime soon. And yeah, the forces of the human are just too small. You can see it. a few breakers, a few priests, no sorcerers yet, because there's no real use for it. But still, you want to like be able to slow the panda when you drain the mana from him. But actually, he's right now. He's not in in the perfect, yeah, perfect performance here. Yeah, the panda is going to the m marketplace, and he's buying a scroll of the beast and a pendant of energy. That's how wow. much gold he has. Yeah, <laughs> and with the panda, you can see the, uh, a pendant. There's so much mana on this guy, and he's. He will be level 6 in no time, because yeah. a single hero together with the tech gets a little bit more experience than the other heroes. And 
for that reason, this panda will hit level 6 real soon, I guess. And we all know that Split, the ultimate uh, of the panda and Brewmaster, is one of the best in the game with Metamorphosis of the Demon Hunter together. Um, really, really great. I think we will see it here. But Spiral Man, he's not doing anything to build a counter expansion or anything. Maybe he's just trying to run away now to, to dry the gold mines, uh, the, the natural gold mines, and then build the expansion later. But that's a long road and the panda can always um, threat your economy like we see it here with the Breath of Fire. This is getting hard for the German. Definitely, and I think he's not aware of the expansion of Foggy here, because it was kind of sneaky expanding when the Knight of Player was struggling a little bit. He was still pulling it off, he, he was getting this expansion right now, he's taking care of the gold line, every peasant is dead and the Arcan Tower will fall as well, and you can see the experience bar from the Pander is rising higher and higher, closer and closer to level 6. Oh. And there's the infamous SK Hot Call, again he's using this scroll of the beast, as well as all his units to try and kill this keep there. He's not really paying attention to the damage that is coming to his panda. He just wants to get rid of the keep and then TP out. And yeah, he succeeds in doing so and puts the human player in a really difficult spot here. Foggy with a one and a half feet in the final of this bracket. We, we are still searching the opponent for cash and it looks like the opponent of the Orc Master is gonna be Foggy aka SK Hot. He has everything he needs man. Almost level 6 Panda and Brewmaster. A nice army of 61 food and an expansion but now desperation move from Spiral. If he can do anything uh, then it is now because he has no income anymore. He has no main building anymore. He's pulling everything all the peasants, all the units he has, but it's only a level 4 Archmage and only a level 2 Blood Mage, a few priests and a mortar team. He needs a miracle. Definitely, he needs a miracle and maybe he can force it. We have seen game 2, game 2 was crazy. Anti-magic shell being used, perfect, no man, no siphon mana anymore on the panda. Right now he's dispelled it. Wow, and we see level 6 finally being hit. Is he using the ultimate yet? No, he is not. Right yet. now, there he is. The panda splitting. GG, well played, smiley face. Good luck next. And the, the infamous SK Hot shout out again. Oh yes, his trademark. He needed to place it there in the end of the game. Foggy versus Cash in the Sick. first series of today. Whoo, boy, this is going to be good. This is going to be really, really good. This is one of the best orcs, or maybe a orc could be the best orc if he's competing against Fly yeah. and if he can show amazing performances. But they had no chance to meet yet against one of the best European elves and we have seen what this guy is capable of. Sp but Spiral did a very, very good job here, yeah. I think. Uh, he was away for such a long time and he came back. Of course, he failed a bit at, at the game one with the towers, but it was a nice touch. Second game was really good of him yeah. and the third game, Definitely. I think... Not scouting the expansion broke his back, or if he scouted it or knew about it, then the reaction to that uh, would be him. maybe kind of different. Like going for an earlier push, maybe if he expected the expansion or scouted it at all. There was a little lack of scouting. I think he should have sent one footman down there, or at least a peasant or something like that. He was not doing so, and I think the blood mage might not be the perfect counter to the panda because the panda will be able to buy still mana potions and replenish his mana, and then the breath of fire is still there, and you cannot really deal with the dryads. He, if he denied the hunter soul and then the lores. Maybe a different story. Definitely. Oh, okay. We're going to do a small break again. In the meantime, you can go over to wca-europe.com to check the bracket, to check uh, for VOD as, uh, uh, as well for the Heroes of the Storm attorney. Everything is up there. So uh, we'll continue with Foggy versus Cash. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> 